What I'd like to talk about is different collar shapes in shirts because again, sometimes people get very confused with these. And again, there's innumerable designs but I've chosen six or seven of my favourite. First off is the tab collar. So this is where on the collar there's a small tab sewn underneath the collar and it actually press studs underneath the tie. It's very modern in shape, it's a bit of a kind of rewind back to the 60s. This one here, this is our Columbia collar, so it's kind of, it's a short, fairly stubby collar, quite new and original shape. This one here, this is what I call a cutaway collar, and this is actually, that's what it says on the tin, it's almost running horizontally, and again needs a very wide tie shape to actually take up this tie space. This here is the extreme cutaway, so this you can almost see it's going kind of backwards and that is kind of a very modern, very Italian kind of collar shape, the extreme cutaway. This is the button down collar shirt, does what it says on the tin, it's actually got two buttons at the end of the point of the collar. It should have a nice easy flow to it when it's on and the tie sits in this very small tie space. Every American schoolboy, every American student has probably got one of these in the wardrobe. What's important is the back detail as well which should have a box pleat and a tiny loop at the top of the box pleat because again in colleges students would hang them on their coat hook. So again that's the button down collar. This, for me, one of the most popular collar shapes at the moment is what I call the forward point. Again, does what it says on the tin. It's a very, very modern contemporary collar shape and it's actually beginning to take over from the cutaway collars, would you believe? Uh, and again, needs a very narrow schoolboy tie knot to fit nicely into this collar shape. Here, mainly for evening wear, is the wing collar. Now again, this was something that would have been worn maybe back in the 1920s, for Scott Fitzgerald, or maybe in the 1930s, but it normally was only worn for a white tie occasion. So you would wear a wing collar with a white bow tie, and that was very much kind of upper class evening wear. That was a very special ball. But now the wing collar is actually being worn with black uh, satin uh, dinner jackets and can be worn with a black bow tie so the rules have kind of been changed a little bit there a wonderful very dressy collar shape those seven of the basics